begins tonight with that gaping hole in a pedestrian bridge that a man says literally crumbled beneath his feet. He says he fell up to 20 feet onto the concrete shoulder below. We want to welcome you to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. The man says Detroit police and EMS responded to the scene on the Spruce Street Bridge over the lodge. Crumbling infrastructure, certainly a big issue for the state right now. Michigan has more than 1,200 bridges rated in poor condition and in need of repair. Detroit police telling 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell they are looking for a record of what happened as almost a week later, the bridge remained open. A Detroit man says he was walking across this bridge when suddenly the ground gave out and he fell through. But the bridge remained open for people to keep walking across until he called journalists. This is a picture of the gaping hole in the Spruce Street Bridge over the lodge in Detroit. It opened up as Elijah Hydes tried to walk with his friends from his home to Comerica Park on Monday, May 9th. It just collapsed underneath my feet and I fell 15 to 20 feet onto concrete. Hyde says Detroit police and an ambulance responded. He's lucky he didn't fall into the path of traffic. He refused, however, to go to the emergency room. These are pictures of his injuries taken as he in pain tried to enjoy the Tigers game. The last thing I remember is like holding my phone out, my hand shaking. I'm pretty cut up and my, oh, I'm yeah, like bleeding do. down my phone. And I remember yeah. I remember your the, hands are, you can see the, you're, they're cut up. I remember thinking it was kind of funny that I should not beat this game. I'm bleeding through my shirt. I'm bleeding through my pants and I'm at a Tigers game. He has made headlines before being stubborn when it comes to baseball. He is the Tigers fan who caught then LA Angels star Albert Pujols 2000th RBI back in 2019 and refused to sell it or trade it to the Tigers security team, causing controversy. He said he would give it to Pujols if asked. I'll, I'll take a handshake. That, that's all I want. He can keep it, you know, I guess. He later donated the ball in honor of his son who passed away to the Baseball Hall of Fame. He says he thought of his family and how precious life is after the fall. It's not just me. I mean, that, everyone in my neighborhood uses that bridge. My, kid, my wife and kids walk across that bridge. That bridge uh, should not have anyone walking on it. If you look at the underside of the bridge, like you can see decades of erosion. When the bridge remained open six days later, he called Detroit News reporter George Hunter, who shined light on the danger. MDOT now has closed the bridge, saying it was scheduled for inspection this month. It's unfortunate if somebody happened to be walking on it just before we were going to come out and find out about the problem. The Detroit PD should have told MDOT or somebody should have been on the phone with somebody being like, you know, the bridge here is pretty unsafe. There's a giant hole in it. I believe that normally we do have a process for Detroit police contacting us. I, I don't know what happened. It's definitely a problem that should be addressed. So what's next? MDOT says it's going to look into how much this bridge was used by pedestrians and then determine and whether it will be fixed or torn down. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim.